Not one to enjoy the spotlight, Damien Hardwick sat front and centre and told a room packed with players, staff and media that his time at Tigerland was up. From the bottom of my heart, boys, I, I wish you all the very best. I'm going to miss you. Hardwick says it was a tough call, but ultimately he didn't have the energy to continue. If I couldn't give 100%, there was no way I was going to coach this footy club. It was a decision many didn't see coming. Make no mistake, his decision has come as a shock. Others could see frustration. We were committed to, to working through it, but you know, Damien said he's, um, the tank's empty. Struggling near the bottom of the ladder, Hardwick realised there would be no fairy tale finish. But he leaves the Tigers a central figure in rewriting its history, turning perennial losers into a powerhouse. After surviving 2016, he coached a drought-breaking flag in 2017, before backing it up in 2019 and 20. The Tigers' longest serving coach with three premierships under his belt, Damien Hardwick clearly leaves behind an incredible legacy of success on the field. But it's the moments off the field that Hardwick says he'll miss the most. Three-time premiership coach Mick Malthouse believes Hardwick will coach again. Down the track at the end of this year, he'll, the bug will be still there in his system and he'll need to scratch it. Hardwick says right now he just needs a break. Speaking to some of the players and, you know, Dustin suggested I go to Ibiza and, <laughs> and, and Bakes suggested I go to Lake Grace. So it's somewhere in between where I'll find myself. One final celebration for one of the greatest coaches in the modern era. Tom Maddox, ABC News, Melbourne.